right, man. Today in uh, Walking Dead news, uh, as we all know, if you haven't heard yet, if you're up on up to date with uh, Walking Dead, um, it's been announced that this season will be and- Andrew Lincoln's last season. And uh, I've heard, I don't know, if, I don't know if it's a rumor or not, but Andre, Andrew, whatever, Lincoln, everybody know Rick Grimes. The man that was larger than life with that big ass, with that big ass uh, Shelby County head, yeah, and that yeah. and Shane, and the baby mama drama, and him killing his best friend, the Griffiths type shit going on, man, for real, it's over with. See what black female samurais, him, <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Lincoln. But Joe, but he said it's gonna be his last season, and uh, you know we all know. Spoiler alert: If you haven't seen last season, Carl died. <laughs> I didn't know that until now. So <laughs> uh, it was pretty. Uh, uh, you watch it, man. But it was, yeah, I'm not gonna get to that part yet. Was it, graphic, to <laughs> was it graphic? Was it satisfying? Or was it just like, are you serious? Uh, the I think the episode before he died was better than the actual episode that he did die because it was they they drug it out man it was very anticlimactic because they tried to send with this big grand you know send off you know and i was like come on man uh, all right man was it kind of like how he got shot when they shot the deer was it sort of like that uh kind of sort of but uh, oh it wasn't that low it was only he was only like in trouble for like two episodes it's like the build up to it was better than the actual end of him. And I was like, okay, you know. I'm in danger. Yeah, yeah. but it was about it's about time his ass died. It's about time Rick go ahead and and kick his ass out the show. So hopefully we see a nice ass episode where Andrew Lincoln just drops the gun, drops the hatchet, slaps Michonne on the ass one good ass time, and tell her to go ahead and go down to the next slave master. Let's let the zombies eat his ass. <laughs> hey, that's the thing though. Rick's talking about that he doesn't want. I call her Rick on Lincoln. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want Rick's his character to die. He wants the character to like go off like uh you know, like I guess walk off the show or be a wanderer or something. But he doesn't want Rick to die. You know, yeah, of course, goofy ass don't want Rick to die. He want him to be able to come back in like season fifteen as Grandpa Rick and shit, and come back with shotguns and Uzis and little pump and shit. I mean, that's what he want to do next fifteen thousand seasons from now. Of course, he don't want that man to die. That's a paycheck. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna kind of piss a lot of uh, fans off too, because seem like like you said he does one foot in the door and one foot out the door, so you can always be like, well, things ain't work out like I thought it was. So I'm coming back to the show. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like my boy think he made The Walking Dead. It's like, man, you are not you are not the creator, dog. We can make The Walking Dead without your hand. It's gonna be rough though, yeah. man. Cause think about it. Now Morgan's on fear of The Walking Dead. Carl's gone. They killed Shane in the second season, so. I, Michonne can't carry the show, and uh, the only thing you got left is Daryl. That's what I'm saying. The damn country hillbilly motherfucker gonna carry the show. Cause hell, look, look, look what happened to the Asian motherfucker. He got his ass beat in by the damn supremacists with the damn bat. But I, um, I got a feeling what they're gonna do is they're gonna put, uh, they're gonna put what's my man name? Damn, what's guy name with the bat? Damn, I'm slipping. I know uh, you talking. Uh, Damn, I can think of him name. Negan, yeah. yeah. Negan gonna take his spot, I think. I mean, hell, Negan is a little bit more batshit crazy than Rick is. Cause Rick, think about it. Rick started off as the as the Boy Scout. He started off like uh Hank Venture, then he ventured off to became Brock Samson. So I mean, hell, you get someone that's just crazy and go ahead and make his ass a damn man follow the leader, then hell, that's what's up. But yeah, see, well, people hate characters like that because they hate to admit that uh humanity needs somebody to uh control the ass like that because when Negan was in control it was peace you know what I'm saying like everybody yeah. knew they knew their position they knew what happened if they you know got out of the line the only ones that have a problem with that is the sheep here the bankers and everyone is actually they got thumbs on people's necks and shit they don't give a fuck about the shit they throwing it out to your ass you think you actually have a fucking opinion so that's why other people don't like this shit <laughs> just like it, uh, no, I, I don't think I don't think Negan needs to put his thumb in his back with those spikes and and can of nine tails on people, he doesn't need to control people with an iron thumb. It's not a dictatorship. It's, 
if you're trying to survive, man, fuck all that. We need to ration your food. You a fat motherfucker. Why you need to eat all the damn corn chips up from every damn body, man? You need to fucking damn just lose some weight and go out there and become damn zombie food or something, man. Bait the damn zombie. Get some damn weight loss. Do some shit. Yeah. <laughs> but Joe, just like you know, think about it. Think about it. It was seven years of plenty, and you had to store up what you had. For the seven years of the drought, people need someone to tell their ass, "Listen, bitch, it was good times, it was bad times. Everyone thinks gonna be fucking good times forever, no, but you got to prepare for the bad. Something fucking finna happen sooner or later. Your bitch ass ain't ready for it. Your ass gonna become fodder." <laughs> yeah, no, man. It seems like people. It seems like people are happy to be slaves, though, man. Like I said, Negan. When Negan was in control, everybody, you know, it was a hierarchy. You know, everybody was in. Everybody knew their job. Nobody mm-hmm. stepped out of bounds. It's funny because when Rick was the good guy, Shane was on that type of Negan shit. They had to kill Shane, but that Negan is a little bit more fucking powerful than Shane because Shane didn't have a whole posse. Like, Shane had a posse, but he didn't have a whole posse like Negan had a posse. Plus, he didn't have a damn bat. So, I mean, hey. <laughs> yeah, that bat powerful, man. That thing like Thor's hammer. Mm-hmm. The whole thing with Negan was he kept on thinking with his dick. Well, that, that was Shane's biggest problem right there. Like, he was trying to lay pipe on everything. He probably would have fucked Carl, too, if he had the chance. I mean, hey, it is what it is. Hey, man, Shane, Shane, my favorite character, dog. True, true. Because think about the Shane love, Rick became Shane. Exactly. So, like, yeah. But going back to Andrew Lincoln, he, he needs to sit on the toilet or just put his ass out the window with his shit on something. Because, I mean, he needs to make up his damn mind. If you can't just say, I want to walk off, you can't do a pool and O'Kin and Ryu type shit in a world of zombies. Your ass going to get eaten up. You're going to get caught lacking. A zombie going to chew on your ass or something. It's gonna, something's going to happen, dude. You just can't walk off and expect to come back 15,000 seasons later and be that dude, be old man Lincoln and shit. Like, no, man, that can't happen. Just damn down and get it over with. See, you trying to do, like you said, he also referenced uh, my man Morgan. Because Morgan just walked away f- from that show and walked onto the uh, Fear of the Walking Dead. Literally, mm-hmm. this dude walked off the show. He w- started walking. And this dude, now he's on the West Coast in Fear of the Walking Dead. This dude walked into another show. So let me ask you this. Walking Dead and Fear of Walking Dead, that's like East Coast, uh, East Coast Avengers and West Coast Avengers, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I, mean, I guess he could do that and be on walk- Fear of the Walking Dead. But if he's talking about leaving just walking dead trademark image comics corporation all that shit together and expect to come back later on and he got another thing coming he need to go ahead and eat a damn big ass brick turd go on somewhere because I, I was thinking about that because technically even though morgan left the show he's only gone on the walking dead fear the walking dead he still exists so technically exactly. still within the walking dead universe exactly rick want to walk off the show and be gone and like, okay, you know, where is he? I'm, I'm a wanderer and I'm a Ronin. I mean, hell, you can't really be a damn wanderer unless he gonna do the Michonne thing. He gonna get him some white zombies and cut their arms and limbs off and do that shit and walk on somewhere. If he can do that, then I mean, I guess he will survive. Shit. Yeah, but see, he also said that he didn't think that the show was gonna go beyond so long. He thought it was gonna, they were working their way to a finale and it seems like the show don't seem like it has an end in, in sight. It does have an end. It's like, how far can you go with apocalypse? Like, real talk, unless you you going to have Jesus come back and kill the zombies or cure the zombies or something in here, what else going to happen? Yeah. I, I, really I, don't see no, I really just can't see no season 20 of The Walking Dead as wow. good or as bad they claim it's supposed to be. I mean, hell, even Supernatural ending. And that was fucking like 14 seasons. Everything got an end down. I don't see the, I don't see Walking Dead going that far, man. I might see, man... 10 to 11 seasons. I can't see it going no further than that. I really can't see 11 seasons, to be honest with you. Because, I mean, yeah, everyone's favorite characters they, that people started off with and grew up with is gone. Or damn, they're gone. So, after this, the only original is going to be left is going to be uh, uh, was Daryl and uh, Carol. Hold oh, that still alive? She's still on there, man. Carol's still a, st- Carol a G, man. But what happened to uh that thing that Daryl was sticking his pee pee into? Which one? The little girl. That look, that, that look like the, girl. the one that looked like the little girl, but she a grown woman. Nah, she he, he hit the hit that, but uh, yeah, she got she died. She got a uh, shot in the head. 
Damn, I know the old man with the cane died. His ass man did, so I mean, shit. Yeah, he died before her. Yeah, it's natural selection, so I mean, damn. Yeah, they trying to keep the the old country motherfuckers alive, to keep the South alive and get the South some hope. The South will rise again. All right, motherfucker, you think so? <laughs> All right, man, you got anything else on this topic, man? Are you done with it? Man, let his ass go. And don't expect to come back, man. Don't expect. See, that's what I'm saying. He finna lead the door. I think it's gonna be like a swing by the door where he push it and step his pace the ass through it. If he wants to, he can just kick it open again from the back and that bitch will swing back over. He can just damn do moonwalk and slide back in this bitch. It's like, no man, the door is a fucking titanium door. Once you close and get up out this bitch, it's locked. No matter how much beating and crying and shooting and nothing on the damn door you do, the shit is locked forever, my dude. <laughs> Agreed.